Fresno State student Logan Ojeda usually eats on the run. I'm not really home that often. I'm either like hanging out with friends, going to work, or I'm at school. So I don't really have much time to really cook something at home. So I do tend to eat out a lot, I would say. Although we all eat, we commonly do not follow the healthy portion sizes recommended here in the United States. We just sort of uh, gl glamorize overeating. It's not really the best thing, but that's sort of the way uh, it's panned out in the United States of America. The glamorizations of overeating through commercials and fast food restaurants adds to the issues. Serving the red and the yellow, those two colors uh, stimulate people to eat more. So McDonald's, I think they have the red and yellow arches. So when they put that on, they know people are going to eat more and then they make a bigger profit. But what does a well-portioned meal look like? So when you look at this, what do you see? So we're trying to teach people, when we look at this, that half of our plate should be with fruits and vegetables. So when we're trying to fill a plate, fill it with fruits and vegetables. And then over here, the proportionate of protein and the proportion of grain is kind of what we're going for. But with everyone having different lifestyles filled with family, work, school, and assignments, Watching our portion sizes can be a hassle. I feel like the like American grind culture, if that makes sense, like the like always have to be like hustling, doing something, being productive, like on a grind. It's like there's no time to rest. Like there's no time to sleep. There's no time to eat like a proper meal because you're always like hustling on the move. And that American grind culture will forever persist as long as we continue to push for success. Noah Chavez, Fresno State Focus.